Cheers, Marilax. You're delicious. everyone, Anna here. I figured I'd just sit down and kind of talk through some things, just kind of talk through stuff. So, firstly, yes, I'm in long sleeves and leggings. Oosh. That is because it is now like in the 50s versus a week ago it was in the 90s with 80 some odd percent humidity so this is nice this is very nice except it's rainy outside and the problem with that is when it's rainy it causes my body to complain and when it complains it hurts and when it hurts it's painful. That was a Captain Obvious right there. But still, I felt that I had to point it out. Oh, but it is nice to have it cooler. I love being able to wear long sleeves. Um, I wear leggings a lot, but I love being able to wear long sleeves because uh, my temperature dysregulation from my autonomic nervous system dysregulation thingy my uh, is uh, it's so frustrating and there's a couple sides to it that can happen you can be really cold all the time or you can be really hot all the time or you can kind of be like a mixture and for me I'm usually really hot all the time although that generally tends to be my upper body, like my upper half, and sometimes just like my head and my face. So it can be really obnoxious because I'll have freezing cold feet and I'll be like, okay, well you should put socks on, but I need to have like part of my body really cold to like balance out the heat. So I will be wearing short sleeves and sometimes shorts in the middle of winter, which is, it's not that they're not comfortable, but it's super nice to be able to wear something just like a sweatshirt or whatever. It's just really comfortable. So I love it when I'm able to do that. The problem with when it cools down though, this much, well, at all, but this much, it dropped about, oh, I don't even know, at least 15 degrees between Friday night and Saturday and whenever the uh, temperature drops to a point where it's like oh it's cooler outside and it has a breeze and such um, than inside so we should open every single window available to us in the house oh my word and it gets It was just like yesterday it was like why is every single window open downstairs <laughs> and my mom is like I'm trying to cool off I'm so hot and I'm like you're still hot from yesterday um, and my brother and my dad don't really mind it I mean and we put on warmer clothes and such but it doesn't bother me except that there's this breeze coming in from every single place because there's all these windows that are open. <laughs> I'm like, stop. Anyway, there's that. On a different note, though, it's still a frustration and no progress with going to the bathroom so I can pretty conclusively say that 
there needs to be an intervention. I'm going to call my doctor tomorrow and I will try to get, hopefully I can get answers. Oh, I think he's only in the office on Wednesdays. Well, I don't know if we can get, I'm hoping I'll be able to get an answer before that. I might do some things on my own, but he's one of the best in the country for gastroparesis and gut motility issues. And so I definitely trust him. And I know that um, maybe I'll need to add a laxative in, or at least for now, or um, maybe he can give me some more guidance. So we definitely need to check in there. So I'll be doing that. But meanwhile, it's frustrating because the past couple days, I've cut back on the amount of food that I've eaten. Um, I know that seems that seems like a bad thing. That seems like something more dangerous and stuff. But keep in mind, I'm still hooked up to my feeds. They run very slowly. They've been running very slowly for ever since I got my feeding tube. But there's fats and proteins in here, so it's not dangerous like it was before I got my feeding tube. It's just that I'm not putting as much food in my stomach. My feeding tube goes directly into my jejunum, which is part of my intestines, my small intestines. So I've just been trying to eat less, less rice in my serving and less baby food throughout the day or no pretzels during the day, um, gluten-free pretzels, things like that. And it will take, it would take several days and today is the day I've really been working on it. But it's just hard. It's hard because in the past I've done this and I haven't seen a lot. It's like I've tried this and then I try this and it's, it's like, what can I do to make this work? So I think I want to do some Miralax tonight and just, I just need to clear things out a little bit um, because it's just becoming very uncomfortable and painful. So <sighs> life with gastroparesis, it's not the best, really not. I don't recommend it for those of you like out there kind of deciding which illness you should choose for your body. <laughs> don't we wish? I don't recommend gastroparesis or slow gut motility. I just don't. But today's been a day of relaxing and trying to just, um, my adrenals have just decided that they're just gonna not do anything because I got a little more sleep. And so then they're like, oh, you don't need us so much. We're just gonna, we're gonna rest now and take care of ourselves, which is good, but not good for me because I'm like, I need you so I can live, do something else other than like lay in bed, which I do that to be honest. <laughs> almost all day but like there's a difference between laying in bed and then sitting up in bed and kind of doing stuff on my computer like more productive stuff anyway I will see you later well there's been no good news on the GI front which is honestly not very surprising but even though I might admit to have had some crying today, tears are not a bad thing all the time. So we're just going to keep doing what we can while we hope to get some answers or some help from um, my doctor this week, hopefully as soon as possible. So with all that, I will say 
Cheers, Marilax. You're delicious. Mm. In prune juice. So you get a double duty. Marilax and prune juice. Anybody else? Anybody else? Oh, yeah. I know you're watching and you're like, uh huh. I've so been there. So cheers to you, Miralax. And, and cheers to you guys for keeping on, keeping on, and pushing through life, whatever that might look like for you. Because every single day is, there's something that we struggle with. There are days that are huge victories, and there are days that are just the daily grind and sometimes that's just the hardest thing so with all that i'm gonna say goodbye good night and i will see you super soon bye